Hey guys, I was just making my latest video and I have this one little part of it that I thought would be good as a standalone video, just real quick. Um, as you know, as you pre-flight an airplane, you check the fuel. It's important to check the quantity, but also the quality of the fuel. So to check the quality of fuel, you get a little sample from underneath. And uh, we did that on this Piper Arrow down in Kentucky and there ended up being some water in the fuel. And it occurred to me that you know, a lot of people, you always know to check for water but not everyone has seen it. My friend who bought this airplane, I taught him to fly nine years ago and I've always told him to check it and check for water. And in nine years of flying, he's never seen it. So I thought, well, there's a lot of other people may not have seen it. So let's uh, show you a quick video here of what it looks like when you get water in your fuel. What happens is water is heavier and it settles to the bottom. The funny thing is we, he took the first couple samples and it almost looked good because it looked the same, but it was all water. So make sure not only that it's clean, but also that it's the right color. We use Hunter Low Lead in uh, general aviation airplanes, and that is typically blue. Not typically, it just is blue. So here's a quick little video for you. I thought you might find it interesting if you haven't seen water in the fuel before. So we already did this three times. We'll see if there's more water in it. Yeah, there it yeah, is. Get a shot of bit. that. All right, folks. See the water in the bottom there? It's blue up top like it's supposed to be. In the bottom, you have this different. That's what water in the gas looks like. I've never no seen that before. That's All right. 